Hey guys! Um, long time no haul. As most of you guys know, I just came back from Asia not too long ago. Um, and you guys know I love to spend myself some money. So I have a haul for you. I actually realized I don't have as many things as I thought I would. Um, which is probably still a lot. But I actually bought a lot of things for friends and family. So um, when it came down to just my stuff, it didn't seem like so bad. I saw Lindy Bub's Beauty and she's so sweet and she gave me like all of these brushes. Is this a joke? I was like, <gasps> oh. So um, I'm actually using some for my kit, some I'm giving to some of my friends and I'm actually gonna have a giveaway for you guys for some of these brushes. Anyway, so yes, I went to the Tooth House and got a couple of things. And so the first thing that I got was this, and this is the Missing You I Can Fly Lip Balm. And um, I've actually tried the EOS Lip Balm for like years and years and years, a long, long time ago. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. I feel like it dries out my lips a little bit, but I do love the packaging. I love that it's so cute, but I just don't use it well because I don't like how it feels on my lips. So I decided to try the Etude House one because it's just as frigging cute. Um, and this is what this one looks like. It's such a pretty color. It smells good too. It smells like mangoes. But it's such a pretty, like, almost like corally color. So I was really psyched to try that. Ooh. My gosh. Egg was flying all over the place. The next thing that I got from the Tooth House was these. And these are the BB Elbow Masks. And my elbows are hella dry. I actually get eczema once in a while on them. And so this seems kind of cool. You just have, like... You rub this lotion on and then you put a patch on it and then so we'll see. It's supposed to moisturize and brighten your um, elbow area. So I got two of those. I totally took these apart if you can tell. But I got the sweet, sweet. And these are like nail stickers. And then I got one of these. And these are really cute. These are just like fun little stickers. They kind of fall off pretty easily though. So I'm kind of a little bummed about that because I tried it. And then I actually went shopping with Bubs. Uh, and she recommended this and she said that Jen from from head to toe recommended her to get these and she really loved these and these are like lip tints um, I got the two lighter shades I actually have this one and I loved it so much I used it every single day when I was in Asia that I picked up a backup of it it's really nice it is moisturizing and it stains your lips but it's not like dry or anything so I really like this one thing I don't like is I have to use my finger but that's it and then Bubs and I went to Innisfree and I was super excited to go there because I've just heard so many good things about that store and that's uh, the one one of the stores I really cannot get to. Um, so I picked up a Olive Real Moisture Nail and Cuticle Cream. I also picked up, I heard this was really nice, so this is the Olive Real Moisture Hand Cream. Um, and then, ooh, coins. And I got a couple of face masks. I also got this volcanic face peel kind of thing, but it's in the other room, so I'm too lazy to get it, which is really nice. It's like, put it, it's black on your nose, and you can just peel it on off. It's really cool. Um, and then I went to Sasa, which is like a, kind of like a cosmetics-ish store. Uh, they have it in, on like literally every single street. It's really cray cray. Um, but it has like drugstore, it has high end, it has a lot of stuff. So I picked up a Dolly Wink eyeliner. And this is a liquid liner. I use this literally every day. I have like five bajillion backups of it. And so I just picked up another one just in case. <laughs> and then I also got the Lash Expand, the Majolica Majorica Land Expander. Um, and I love this. This is another product that I usually order both of these online. And so I figured it would probably be a little bit cheaper to just actually buy it in the store and bring it back. I picked up this. And this is the Neo Nudes. Um, this collection, I don't think they have it in America. Um, this is Oh, this is actually from Watson's, not Sasa. But you can get it at both. Uh, but they have Neo Nudes, and this is by Maybelline, and um, this is just a really nice line of nude lipsticks. And so this one is in NE04, and this is a really pretty Your Lips Better color. Um, love it. I actually got like 5,000 of these, but I gave them to all of my friends. <laughs> I also picked up a bunch of baby lips, 
and I actually really love the formula of the Asian baby lips. Oh my gosh, a screw just fell out of my camera. Hmm, that's questionable. And so they have these ones, which are the regular ones. This is Cherry Velvet. They have a bunch of other flavors. Um, but then they have these two, and they're new. Um, they were the glow ones, which this one is like a baby pink color, and this is like more of a deeper pink blast color. Uh, excited about this, so that's awesome, Blossom. Um, also in Sasa, I picked up, I, this might be Watson's too, I'm not sure. It's either Sasa or Watson's. Watson's is another, um, store that has like drugstore and higher end, um, makeup. And this was a Maybelline BB mineral water gel and I've actually tried their regular BB cream from um, Asia and I, I didn't mind it I like the new formula of it I didn't like the very first one but the new formula I liked but this one was cool because this is a water gel one I've never tried this one and I tested this out on my hand and I actually really enjoyed it it's about my skin color which is nice and it's really almost like water so it has really light coverage and it feels really nice on your skin. I also picked up the Dark Circles Intensive Care Eye Masks. This is another thing I'm obsessed with. I tried this in Hong Kong and loved it so much I picked up a backup when I was in Taiwan. This is a Nessa, um, this is by Shiseido and this is their face sunscreen BB. I love the packaging of it. I love that it's like rose goldish. So pretty. Um, you can actually order this online at imamoko.com, so I'm going to link it down below. Uh, Felix thought I was going to go crazy because I was thinking about buying like five backups of it, but I just got one. Um, but I love this because it feels like a BB cream in that it's a little bit thicker in texture, but you can really feel how nice it keeps my skin really nice and matte all day, yet I know I'm getting the sunscreen protection that I need. I love this so much. Um, so I'll definitely link uh, I'm a Mocos down below so you guys can check this out. So friggin' good. Da, da, da. I also, this one I picked in Taiwan. This is Saloni. And this is um, a brand that I actually was introduced to by I'm a Moco. And I really, really, really love this brand. And this was their liquid eyeliner. I'm obsessed with eyeliner and I am very, very, very loyal to my Dolly Wink eyeliner. But since I liked this brand a lot, I wanted to give it a shot. And this is their really, this is like so overly protected. Jam on. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's like brown. Is this brown? No. So this is what this looks like. And then I went duty free because duty free is some of my favorite things to shop. It's freaking awesome, blossom. And so the first thing that I knew I needed to pick up was this. And this is the Lancome. This is the Visionaire. Now this is the Visionaire in the center here. I love the Visionaire. I think it's so smooth. It's so nice on my face. I absolutely adore it. Um, but it's exclusive to Asia to have um, the other Visionaire line products and so this set comes with a pre-correcting advanced lotion which is this one over here this is the one that we have in America and this is the skin corrector and then it has the advanced emulsion so I'm really excited to try out these other two products this was quite pricey but I hope it's really worth it because I do love the Visionaire line um, so I'm so excited to try that um, something else I picked up was some Shu Umura stuff. Um, we don't have any more Shu Umura stores here. They only have like the eyelash curler in Sephora, but which I picked up an eyelash curler because I need another one. Um, but I picked up the Cleansing Oil Duo set, and this is what this looks like. This is the UV Under Base Mousse. And... Both Bubs and Ray of Rayview recommended that I get this. They said it was really good. And this is the brow pencil, and this is the hard brow pencil in number nine. I also got the Dior Snow. Now the Dior Snow, they have their sunscreen here, but um, in general Dior Snow is for whitening and lightening, so not many people from America would want that. And so I really enjoy this kind of stuff. I like looking like a pale ice queen um, during this winter time 
And so I picked up their translucent powder. I do love the casing of it. I think it's really sleek and beautiful. Um, and this is what that looks like. Lastly is the thing I was most excited about. Um, I actually couldn't find it in Taiwan. I had to get one of my really good friends who is in Taiwan and Hong Kong also to pick it up for me because I was like, please get it for me. And this is the beige line um, from Chanel. And this I think is going to be permanent in their collection, but I think the anticipation of it coming out just got me really freaked out. Um, and this is their Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. Ooh, too much leg. Um, and so this is in number 20, which would be great for setting powder. And this does come out in America, I want to say in the beginning of August. So this is what this looks like. Such sleek packaging. I love the, this beige packaging. Um, it comes with this really soft, this is super soft brush. This is what that looks like. It's just like a really beautiful powder. Can you do a giveaway for me? Of course! I'm going to be giving away a couple of things for you, and I'm going to give, be giving away this Shuyumura Skin Purifier. Um, I did hear this was awesome, so um, I did get the two-pack for a reason. Um, this one would be for you guys, um, and you guys know this was one of the new products, the Baby Lips uh, Pink Glow, and so I picked up one of the baby pink ones for you guys as well. Um, along with this Etude House Kissful Tint. As you guys know, I just talked about this, and this is the one that I have, and I love this so, so much. I think it's an amazing product. It gives you just a little hint of color while giving you that lasting moisturizer. So I like this a lot. Um, and I'll be giving away this Innisfree Mask. So if you guys are interested in winning the Bubby brushes, that will actually be on my blog when my July favorites goes up, which will be probably in a couple of days. Um, and actually also going to link this onto my blog as well, just because it's easier to maintain all of your entries that way. Um, so yeah, definitely check this out if you're interested in winning these products. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, see, it's not too bad, right? Ew. Uh, so yeah, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you guys. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye